friends, comrades, brothers, sisters, and I still allow to say that. Um, it's a real pleasure to be here today. Um, thank you for inviting me. Great to see you as well with us today, Derek. Um, I joined the predecessor union, um, the Slade Art Union, actually, in 1977. Came the National Graphical Association. Do you remember them? Uh, and then the GPMU. Uh, I'm very glad to be a member of UNITE. I've been a member of this union since pre 1977. Because I believe that we're stronger together than we are individually. You know, the Tories believe that you're stronger individually than we are collectively. That's a very important difference between us. One of the great achievements, I think, in the last 13 years, and I've been very proud to see this in my constituents, is the building of new high schools. Every one of the five new high schools in these North East has been renewed. Every one. We've had two prime ministers, Tony Blair and Gordon Brown, opening two of those. It's made a massive difference to the start in life that our children have had. Not just your start, which is important, which we know the Tories will slash, but our high schools, something concrete, something that's a really important <coughs> achievement, something that gives those children a start in life so they can go on to achieve better things. The other thing, of course, that is very noticeable about this city is St. James's Hospital. We have the state of the art, the best cancer unit in the country, in Western Europe in fact, with those linear accelerators, with the amount of investment we put in. Your chances of recovering from and being cured of cancer now are higher than they've ever been, thanks to a Labour government and the investment that we've put in. We truth from the lobbies, Hillary, didn't we? With our points, to ensure that the economy of this country didn't collapse in the worst downturn recession that we've ever seen in our lifetime. The Tories voted against every single measure, and they should be ashamed of themselves. And you know, one of the things that makes me laugh when I see those bosses standing up, Tory supporting bosses, saying that this national insurance increase will cost us jobs. It's hang on a sec, didn't we hear that in 1997 about the national minimum wage? 1998 introduced the national minimum wage, they said, and it lost thousands of jobs. Well, friends, it created thousands of jobs, and I do not believe for one minute this national insurance <laughs> increase, modest as it is, there to preserve our public sector, will cost any jobs at all. It will save jobs, and will save the jobs of our members as well as our supporters. So please don't take any nonsense there. You know, it's so important that we don't go back to the days of Norman Tebbit we saw on that screen. The man, no, I just remarked to Jamie, the man who looked a bit like a member of the leadership of the Nazi party when Hitler was in power. Didn't he? He looked very much like a Nazi there. I'm not saying he is politically, but he certainly looked like it. But some of those attitudes, the attitudes of the Tory party that say, devil thy neighbour, we don't care about the people we live with. We don't care about society. There is no such thing as society. Well, we know there is, and we're going to carry on working for every single person, whether they're most vulnerable or whether they're the wealthiest in our society to make sure we each and every one of us share the fruits of everybody's labour and the material wealth of this one of the richest countries in the world. So take no rubbish from the Tories. So friends, we don't want them to be elected again. We will do our best to stop them being elected. We will do our best to secure a fourth term of a Labour government with self-confidence and with hope in our hearts. Let's move forward from here.